It's a partnership bound through history. The Royal BC Museum was founded in 1886, the BC Archives in 1894. The two organizations joined forces in 2003 to ensure that artifacts, documents and specimens from our province are preserved for future generations. And in the natural history collection, those specimens and their DNA are a biological time capsule. V. Cooper explains. This is the skull of an orca. It's also a biological time capsule. These are animals. You can take DNA from them. You can take tissue samples for stable isotope research. So there's all kinds of fantastic research that can be done just from these carcasses. Whales are just one species in a remarkably diverse collection. People bring us window-killed animals, road-killed animals. If they're in very good shape, we keep them. The museum also keeps tabs on marine mammals found dead on our shores. Dead animals wash up fairly regularly. If it's a seal here, an otter there, sometimes it's a fish. Uh, we've got sea turtles that, we've, that have been found washed up and yeah, every now and again someone will come across something large like a whale. That's what happened April 20th when a 9 meter grey whale was found dead on Long Beach near Tofino. There's a lot of museums around the province so we have a network of people. We all phone around to see who has the money, who has the time to prepare it. And this one was very fortunate that we were able to pull out some funds to get it done for our, our collection. And that's a story in itself. When you arrive at the beach, you put on gloves and you put on a raincoat and then they duct tape the gloves to the coat. We were on the beach pulling the fat and the skin, the blubber and the skin off the whale. If you need to cut it, cut it. And between 9.30 and 6.30 in the evening, we reduced the animal down to bones and as little meat as possible. And then the skeleton is taken apart as carefully as possible. Each piece is wrapped, marked, then buried for a year to rot. And then once it's buried and settled in the ground, bacteria and fungi do the work and they clean everything off the bones. Bones to add to a collection which includes nearly every whale from this region. The whales we lack so far are the fin whale and the North Pacific right whale. And wouldn't you know it? Just after the grey whale washed up in April, a fin whale uh, hit the news because it, wrapped around, it was wrapped around the front of a cruise ship. Had I got a whale looking into the future, I would have said no to the grey whale and yes to the fin whale because that would have been a real bonus to our collection, but I couldn't afford both. It's all in a day's work at the Royal BC Museum. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.